come to the right place if you are looking for an orchid that is fuss-free, resistant to abuse, floriferous, giving, vigorous. You have not come to the right place if you're looking for an orchid that is fragrant, but you have come to the right place for an update on my Pro Catavola Golden Peacock. Let me point out who else is involved today. That would be Teresa's Corner, The Orchid Saga, and Roger's Orchids. Thank you to you three so much for joining me on this care collab of the Pro Catavola Golden Peacock. In my case, it's an update. I really look forward to seeing what yours are doing, how they're doing and progressing throughout this season. Links to all their videos will be in my description below. This way you can then have a look-see if you would like to see other growing conditions, other environments, and not necessarily just my setup of self-watering with LECA. In my case, as I mentioned, this is an update. We have seen my Procatavola and how I take care of it in a previous video, which I will link below in the description. And as you can see, mine is doing fabulous. After the repot and division abuse, it got just before Christmas. Well, on Christmas Eve, actually. <laughs> the things you do on Christmas Eve. Yep, it's all about the kids, as in C-H-I-D-S. She got a massive division done. I had to pull her out of the pot by destroying the pot. She was so pot bound, and that is the beauty of this orchid. Again, you've come to the right place if you're looking for an orchid that is no fuss, but will perform and thank you for it, regardless of what you do with it, pretty much as long as you keep up with the watering and a few nutrient details. But they're so minimal, so basic, and she will bloom for you, regardless. It's a pity that mine is not in bloom again for this Care Collab update, but she has her next spike going. She was in bloom for me for six weeks approximately six weeks ago and when she stopped blooming she was already maturing this growth here which already has a spike in it since the last care collab video on this pro catavola golden peacock i have seen pictures of michael mccarthy's pro catavola golden peacock living in a tree looking fabulous with branching spikes so now i have a conundrum i always thought that i was doing well with six blooms and it turns out that that is a pathetic show compared to Michael McCarthy's. Yeah, so the potential of this orchid is much, much more blooms. However, what I'm going to do from Jump Street next year, now that she is established, I'm going to give her a lot more light. The way I had right after she was divided, she lived on the top shelf of my blooming alley where she got direct sun because of the angle of the sun. And then she got the anthocyanin and I thought, mm, yeah, maybe we don't want to push it so much. She's just been divided, so I pulled her back. But I would like to see how far I can push this orchid in the coming season with regards to full on light. And maybe I will one day also achieve a branching spike and more than six blooms. I mean, I always thought six blooms was fabulous, but you know, orchid goals. When you see something on the other side of the fence, you're like going, um, what's going on there? <laughs> but she's doing great, honestly. She is now growing new roots as well, really chugging along. Here's the next growth. And here is another new growth. So now I have three directions of growth on her, and I'm pretty sure they're all going to bloom. The growth that was maturing when I was dividing her had every reason to not bloom, just in order to recover. On the contrary, when she bloomed, look at the size of the growth here now. That was the growth that bloomed, and now we're up to the next level. So maybe that is the secret to branching spikes, a more mature orchid, who knows? By the way, I was also asked if a Brasso epilalia golden peacock is the same thing. So yes, it is. If you see Brasso epilalia golden peacock, this is exactly the same plant as Pro Catavola golden peacock. The thing is that the parents are the Brasso cattleya Richard Mueller to 50%. And that is a hybrid between Brassavola nodosa and cattleya Milleri. And then you have the other 25% to derive this cross directly which is the Prostechia vitellina. And that is why, if you were to see Brasso epilalia golden peacock, this is it. Same thing, just because of the parentage and how they muddled everything together and eventually came up with Pro Catavola golden peacock. 
that was just a little side note, just to confirm something that I've been asked, and I hope that you will see this video. But on the other hand, right now, let's just say I'm giving her full-on fertilizer. She's getting 300 parts per million every single time that reservoir is empty, and that happens relatively quickly. And then I flush her through, lots of flushing as well. So that can happen like once, almost twice a week, as we are now in the middle of August, twice a week flushing. But I always base it on, is the reservoir absorbed or not? But I do flush prior to refilling the reservoir, seeing as she is really, really chugging along also with root growth. And then occasionally I do mist the surface with my sprayer just to counteract any chance of a dry top layer taking out any roots that are freshly growing in the pot. Don't want that to happen. Love this orchid. My opinion has not changed. Sorry about that jiggle. You saw the puppy lying right at the base of my tripod, which he does the minute I'm about to hit record. So they, that jiggle, there you go. I was looking forward to showing you blooms for this update, but I didn't keep wanting to push dates back and inconvenience all the participants of this care collab. We will see her blooms eventually. Really appreciate your time, Teresa's Corner, The Orchid Saga, and Roger's Orchids. Appreciate you supporting this initiative by doing a video with your Pro Catabola Golden Peacock. I'm going to be so interested to see how yours are doing. I appreciate your time to come over and have a quick look, see at mine. Eventually, we will see blooms for you, and then we will dedicate the blooms of this spike. I'm keeping her well away from any rogue elbows. If you would like to check out the Care Collab video from a couple of months ago, that again is linked in the description below. If you would like to join a Care Collab on this orchid and you do post videos on social media, then please feel free to email me. My email is also in the description below or leave me a comment and we'll get in touch either way, somehow, so that on the next update, you will be on board even with your own Care Collab video while the rest of us, we are updating. Would love to have you join us. Really appreciate your time. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.